Games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Number 10 in the list is Halo 5 Guardians. A new threat prepares its way to the galaxy, and the fate of the missing Master Chief is in the brink of doom. Lead a group of brave warriors to uncover the dark secrets that further extends the scale with another epic story from the Halo universe. This first-person shooter likes to control various perspectives in a universe torn apart by political turmoil. Control Fireteam Osiris as they set out to retrieve the missing Master Chief. Aside from its lackluster single-player campaign, its multiplayer gets revamped with Arena, which puts players in a 4 vs 4 skill-based battle. Also, the new Warzone mode actually adds variety to an onslaught of Covenants, Spartans, and many more, with up to 24 players. The game is a commercial success. Critics praised the game's rich multiplayer content, but however, it did receive a fair share of criticism primarily for the forgettable single-player campaign. While this may not be the best of the Halo franchise, it still offers enough to followers of the series. It receives a play score of an 8.11. On 9th place is Wolfenstein The New Order. Ah, the Nazis. If there's one game that satisfies your need to take down Hitler's powerful army in an alternate timeline, then we should probably tell you that this game is the perfect choice for you. Step into the shoes of a Nazi killing machine as he plunges himself into an alternate history where Germans won World War II. A remake of the classic Wolfenstein game, this first-person shooter is filled with action-packed sequences and a complex morality choice that can alter the progression of the game's narrative. Use the game's cover-based shooting to avoid insane firefights and gather the most powerful weapons to shed some Nazi blood. The game's attention to the red color brings out a unique flair to its already bloody atmosphere. It's not entirely innovative though. The New Order makes use of the same shooting conventions, but it manages to compile these basics into one enjoyable shoot fest. It has been nominated for many awards during its time, including Game of the Year, and recently it just released a standalone expansion called Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Unfortunately, no Hitler this time, but it receives a play score of an 8.15. Rank number 8 is Far Cry 4. To live in a remote Himalayan country with a psychopathic ruler is a thing that one should never take lightly. Be AJ Galu, a dude who just wants to deliver his grandmother's ashes to its rightful place. That changed, of course, when you're met with a one and only pagan man. After the success of Far Cry 3, Ubisoft amps it to a bigger scale with the world twice the size of its predecessor. The open-world first-person shooter is teeming with dangerous wildlife, crazy tribespeople, and explosive gunfights. Explore the chilly Himalayan mountains and encounter the elusive Yeti in the game's additional DLC. If that's not good enough for you, then take a blast from the past with so much in-game side quests. Those who play the previous releases will find a great adrenaline-pumping shooter in Far Cry 4. Ubisoft successfully recreated the formula that made Far Cry 3 successful. Let's just hope that they don't become too complacent. Don't get me wrong, this is a good entry to the series. You can even finish the game within 5 minutes if you know the secret. Should you stay or should you go? It has a play score of an 8.27. In number 7 is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. After the events of Human Revolution, take your first step into this bleak, cyberpunk dystopian world of Eidos hit sci-fi franchise. Return as Adam Jensen with an all-new badass body augmentation and futuristic stealth abilities. The game is mainly first-person, but during the gunfights, Adam switches to third-person view to accommodate a wider view of the battlefield. Use those powerful augmentations and fulfill Adam's quest to find and defeat the Illuminati. This game was nominated for multiple awards due to its atmospheric world, intriguing narrative, brilliant writing, and the hybrid shooting combat. If you're the type to accept harder challenges, try finishing the game without killing an enemy. Morality is key and Mankind Divided succeeds in giving you the choices. It receives a play score of an 8.47. Sixth in the ranking is Super Hot. A game that's as unique as it is clever, developer's super hot team brings you a game that features a one-of-a-kind gameplay element, time-bending mechanic. The world moves as you move, so take down evil red enemies while being transported into a digital world that threatens you in the real world. Use its seamless flow of time and mind-boggling levels of first-person carnage. 
shoot enemies in the head and watch it break in satisfaction, or slice down an enemy of fragile soldiers with your dangerous katana. It's a thrilling experience and one does not move casually like a real video game should. So make the first step count because the game is super hot. It has a play score of an 8.49. Fact number 5 is Overwatch. The world could always use more heroes. Blizzard successfully gathered 25 million people to join the cause. Overwatch is Blizzard's new IP in years and boy do they not disappoint. Experience its slick and fast gameplay with various skill levels and get to know the diverse cast of 23 playable heroes. Do you want to be a healer? Pick Mercy. Tank? Reinhardt. Useless? <laughs> Widowmaker. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a spectacle of fast-paced action with memorable gameplays as you escort payloads, contest planes, and prevent your teammates from picking Hanzo on attack. So communicate with your crew and use game-changing ultimates to change the tide of battle. I need healing. It has a play score of an 8.51. In the fourth place is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Ten-year-olds will love this and even the player base that existed before the series kind of went downhill. Sorry, not sorry. This remastered version of one of the most critically acclaimed games in the Call of Duty history returns with high-definition textures, enhanced sound, improved lighting, and everything that remasters deliver. It's a wonderful tribute to the longtime fans of the franchise. Modern Warfare Remastered launched alongside the series' latest release, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which tanked. The game's main story remains the same and is unforgettable as always. The best part of this remaster is that it comes with a new and improved multiplayer with dedicated servers. Play with or against friends and experience COD during its glory days. It gets a play score of an 8.55. Third in the ranking is Doom. Finally, Doom Guy returns, bringing death, gore, and destruction to the poor demon strapped with him. Ha! He doesn't even flinch. This reboot of the classic shooter unleashes hell on Mars. This time, be the hulking badass and be a living incarnate for these hellish creatures. The game still contains the same epicness the previous games delivered. Set in a killing spree and fast-paced shooting experience, use your wide arsenal of futuristic weapons and use glory kills to tear demons limb by limb. Or you could simply blow them up into bits, I don't care. It's a satisfying return to the franchise and id Software has made the right design decisions. Doom was widely praised due to its intense action, gripping combat, and of course, its badassery. Unfortunately, the multiplayer aspect was a subject for debate, but if you're looking for experience of the old school Doom in a more modern context, then this should be in your library. Like, right now. It receives a play score of an 8.62. Second is Titanfall 2. Respawn Entertainment's brainchild launches with another Descent from the Sky. The sequel to the massively popular first-person shooter returns with mechanized action and futuristic skirmish. Discover the Frontier as the game introduces a story mode that most first-person shooters fail to deliver. Become a pilot and Titan as you dominate foes in its metallic combat, but with more substance and style. Multiplayer is as good as ever, and it includes new modes that invite even more intense gunfights. Use an extensive array of weapons, including the Pulse Blade, and customize your mech into its most intimidating form. There are over multiple customization options, including mech types to dominate the arena. Titanfall 2 is more dynamic than the original. It received praises for its more polished gameplay and surprisingly good story. Sadly, EA recently revealed that the game is suffering from low sales. Give them support, guys! It gets a play score of an 8.75. And here are the runners up before we reveal the number one Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. A game that puts destruction and tactical combat into action. Use your infiltrating tools and team up with your squad to raid enemy territories, eliminate threats, and siege that victory. It has a play score of an 8.02. Warhammer and Times Vermintide. Set in the Warhammer universe, pick between five diverse heroes to combat an invading race that seeks to dominate the world. This first person shooter is one of the many Warhammer games released out there. It has a play score of a 7.94. Shadow Warrior, a first person shooter that's a reboot of the game with the same name. Take control of Lo Wang, a badass ninja with deadly skills and weapons to defeat evil demonic hordes. 
needs katanas when you have the dual wielding guns. It has a play score of a 7.74. Ziggurat A roguelike first-person shooter game that lets you take control of a magician in training. Use your powerful spells or any weapons to survive waves and waves of enemies from its procedurally generated levels. It has a play score of a 7.65. Destiny Ah, uh, Bungie's first ever entry after its severed ties with Microsoft. The Halo universe is no longer their concern, and this online-only first-person shooter unravels a whole new sci-fi world to explore with friends. It's like, mm, Halo, but a bit less. It has a play score of a 7.50. You can get these games by clicking the first link in the description box below. And the best first-person shooter for the Xbox One is Battlefield One. If this isn't the best first-person shooter game on the Xbox for you, then I don't know what is. DICE's return to the Battlefield franchise takes the game back to the Great War in an epic skirmish of gunpowder, tanks, and flamethrowers. Ride zeppelins, maneuver huge tanks, and hide beneath trenches because this is DICE's best Battlefield game to date. It's open, huge, and it's filled with sheer excitement. I swear, this game is just so epic in terms of its insane multiplayer experience. Play in its various multiplayer modes including conquest, domination, and more. You can even play as a pigeon for all I care. This game was universally acclaimed. Critics praise the game's sound, visuals, action, and of course, the multiplayer experience. Although the story mode was kinda meh, but who cares? This game takes our number one spot with a play score of an 8.91. And a big thank you to these awesome contributors from all over the world who helped us translate our videos to their respective languages. If you want to take part in the growth of our What to Play community, please translate your favorite What to Play videos to your language. Simply click that More button below and select Add Translations. Thanks again! We publish four gaming videos every week, so don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside subscribe, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. To receive the latest player and gaming updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.